It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079 at home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your folk, B High Radio Shouty. Stepping in the building, I got an A Town player in this thing. My dog, Yaki DV Ashes. What's good with it, boss? Yeah, man, what's good? What's poppin', man? You already know Yaki DV Ashes, the flits guard, Mr. Trill of is in the building. Already, I mean, you uh, already hit the nail on the head with that flits guard, though, man. I mean, I seen you drop that visual. And that Ooh, visual was cold-blooded, though. Y'all can tell me about that, boy. You know, it, you know it's like 4D, yeah. not 3D. It was yeah. 4D, you know what I'm saying? They had to see it. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Brought out the helicopters and everything. Right? Mm-hmm. Pulled the tricks and trades out on this one. Yes, sir. You know, we're just trying to do big things, man. You know, set the record straight. Yeah. What was it like putting that thing together with that boy, Plug? Oh, man, it was so amazing. Uh, Plug, Plug is one of my favorites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He got that, that South Bounce. Uh huh. New uh, hop. You, yeah. you always create anything on his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like sure you can create a whole new wave on his stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's just about how you go about the beat. Already. The chemistry was already good. You know, I've been knowing him since we was like eighth grade, ninth grade, middle school. Yeah. High school, like that. So the chemistry always been good. Actually, we actually I used to throw parties in high school. Yeah. You know, me and my buddy Twink. You know, yeah. I used to throw parties and Quint. All of us had the world finest. We gave him his first job, you know what I'm saying, as a DJ. That's cold. You know what I'm saying? So that's been my boy for a minute. Now, when it comes to these tracks, though, Yaki, it seems like it's uh, only right that you do right and kill everything, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, if, if you're going to do it, you got to overdo it. That's right. So you can set a new record. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm about, setting new standards. You know what I'm saying? Trying to build a rap game back with balls. Already. I yeah. mean, them balls was uh, appearing on that Drake. What was it like when you dropped down? Because, see, that's when I first got in tune with the movement right there. Oh, when I heard okay. that Drake, I knew that it was real right then. Yeah, um, Drake, Do Right and Kill Everything. That's a song that I dropped. TM and Tino produced it together yeah. collaboratively or whatever. But it was just like, that was my introduction to the game. Like, I'm here. Yeah. Like, you know I'm saying, I got swag bars in. I can create the hop that I want to create yeah. and, and make people feel it. Yeah. So it was just like, I was just giving them me, like, letting them know, like, I'm kicking down the door now. It's my turn. Exactly. Yeah. Coming from the A, though, man, I understand that you got a lot of tutelage from some heavy hitters in this game, man. Oh, uh, yeah, man. You know, I appreciate everybody that, on like, in my route of making music, of being able to become, you know what I'm saying, a mega star in the future. Yeah. Uh, People like Rico Wade, mm-hmm. Future, uh. It's just a lot of people. Anybody I connect with is like a, a great connection because I'm like a people person. And yeah. I always have a good vibe about everything. Really try to keep all negativity away from me, period. Of course, of course. Uh, but looking up to like Rico Wade, Future Outcast, just the Jesus, the yeah. Tips, and like everybody who really just did it came from the mud, yeah. like the real red clay. Yeah. And really just, I, I seen grind, you know what I'm saying? Like Future. Yeah. Grind over 13 years to get where he at, you know what I'm saying, just to even be noticed how he been noticed. Yeah. So, so it's just like I seen them go and get it, so it made me want to go and get it. Already. Uh, I mean, being able to talk to a guy like Rico Wade, a man that done went platinum so many times we can't even yeah. count them all. Ooh. What kind of game and advice are you getting from him? Uh, number great advice. It just, you know, stay focused, stay consistent, mm-hmm. and really want it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't really do something if you don't really want it. Yeah. You got to treat the game like that girl that you, you think you that can't you really get. Want. So you got to yeah. really impress her to win her over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can be as simple as a conversation, but sometimes you got to go overboard. So That's you true. really just got to treat it like you really want it. Yeah. Like, because everybody energy feeds off of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, your team ain't going to really want it if you're if you not on they, on they behind the shit. Yeah. They really want it. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, if you're not telling them, like, I need this done, I need this done, we need to create new ideas, we need to do this, and all be on top of the game, yeah. they're not going to have a drive as far as you not having a drive. So how do you keep your drive in check, though? Because when you see a guy like Future take 10 years, over 10 years to get into the game, and you know that that is a possibility or something that could happen when you're trying to grind and get it out the mud, Yeah. how do you stay focused and stay down with the hustle? Uh, I stay focused and stay down just by putting everything, like all the current events, into the music. Mm-hmm. Cause if you don't, it's like you talking about a whole bunch of stuff in the past. But you, as long as you mixing it together, yeah, it's kind of easy yeah. for them to relate to it and really just be and paint the picture. It's like cause being an artist, you really paint the picture like through words. 
That's right. That's all it is. But to stay focused and stay on the grind and just keep positive people around you, like family people. Yeah. And people not who who's not trying to really leech. Yeah. People who really willing to work for some. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna give you the drive and be like, Man, I don't mind paying him because right. he he working for it. Exactly. So it, it, you'll feel better just dishing out money to people who really work for you. Yeah. And people who just hanging around, just being around, not even down. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now I know you've been rapping for a long time too, man. I mean, you came up in the game of youngster rapping. Yeah, young, young. What was it like growing up with it though, man? Because I, mean, when was what was what what was that point that made you say, you know what, man, it's time for me to start rapping in this thing? Because I mean, you could have chose any other lanes to go down. Yeah, but see, really, it was I used to play football. I used yeah, to play middle linebacker and fullback. Hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Cause he ain't gonna throw that out there. You weren't cold blooded though, was you? Oh yeah, man. You know I was the head crack king, really. You know what I'm saying? The, the blind side, like don't see him looking. Yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? Still hit him. <laughs> like I was, I was Lawrence Taylor <laughs> type stuff, man. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but you know, I got hurt. Oh. When I was first going to high school, really. Yeah. So I was still was trying to play. Yeah. But it didn't work out. Like my knee yeah. really went out. Really. So exactly. it's just like. I had to find some other way to be popular and, yeah. and still keep the honey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, the next big thing to an athlete is a rapper. You ain't you know double lie. You ain't double so lie. Like, Let me be a rapper. Like, I didn't know how to rap. I learned how to rap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you have to really want it. I must have had to really want yeah. to keep what I had going on yeah. in order for me to learn how to rap and be as good as I am today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, you know, that's, that's what happened. Now, your generation, though, man, y'all got a lot of cold-blooded boys coming up with you, man. I mean, boys like Cinco, DC Young Fly. What is it like coming up in this time right now with those guys and everybody just getting busy in the game together? Like I said, everyone who comes out of Atlanta, I have a personal relationship exactly. with. I either dealt with them on street business or yeah. a rap business or went to school with them because mm-hmm. I went to a lot of different schools, really. Yeah. And I stayed on the east and the west, so I had, like, the best of yeah. both. Yeah. Worlds, yeah. You know what I'm saying to communicate and being who I am, like I said, I always popular. Yeah, I always kept some girls. So is it like, hey man, when that hard to get along with me? You yeah, because I mean? yeah. I'm on the stuff that they want to be on. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like DC. I went to school with him, Janiceiko. We was in the group together, helicopter kid. We just uh, went our separate ways and tried our own thing, yeah. and then it's really working for both of us. How do you feel, though, man, when both of y'all were just some youngsters playing around and then you look up and both of y'all got music on the radio at the same time, man? It's amazing, like, because this digital this stuff, we used to sit in the basement with, yeah. with Mercy and yeah. make the beats. We used to sit, all of us was in the group together. Me, Mercy, Zilla, Juju, That's cool. and Five, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, to see everybody else doing what they doing and being successful, it's like, we was all in one group, now we separated and still doing our thing. Yeah. It's a good feeling. Definitely did that. Now with you being on the radio and you grinding and coming up right now, what are some of the obstacles that you face right now blowing up as a young artist coming out of the eight? What, good or bad? Both. Well, the good thing is like the uh you know, the popularity carries on. But it's just like now you just gotta trickle down on like the business aspect. Yeah. Like, cause you don't wanna be lost and not knowing where certain stuff going and you thinking certain stuff getting done and it ain't. So by me building my relationship with the DJs, mm-hmm. uh, just really staying focused and creating good music. Yeah. Um, cause the work just now starting. Like as yeah. soon as you start up, you think, oh, I done made it, but mm-hmm. you ain't made it. That's when it just starts. So yeah. it's like you got to work ten times harder now that you popping, cause you yeah. want to stay popping. Exactly. So it's just like you just building relationships. Uh, showing love to the DJs, going to clubs, popping up without unannounced, messing with people, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like, just doing the footwork, the mm-hmm. grind. Create a process, though. When y'all can go in that studio and crank that thing up, man, what is it that's on your mind when you go in there? Really? When I'm in there, when I go to the studio, I really just have to get in my own zone. I damn the lights. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and the engineer smoke me some, you know what I'm saying? Sip me some, and just, I feed off the bass of the beat. Mm-hmm. So it's just like it depends on whatever you play. I can make some to it. It just depends on what story I want to tell on that beat. Mm-hmm. So it just be like something can be done happen that day. I like I said, I rap, rap about current events. Mm-hmm. So it's just like whatever current going on, that's what I'm gonna lay down. Yeah, that's that's really my inspiration. Life is really my inspiration. Like just seeing 
I still work. Who real? Who fake? Yeah. Who on trade? You know what I'm saying? What a snake said. What's the nigga motive? How has it been trying to keep it real with the fam, though, during this journey? Because, you know, when you start to take off a little bit, folks start to show their true colors, man. Yeah, like, a lot of folks show their true colors. Uh, basically, like I said, some people just around and not down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like family feel like they come first, but they got to understand, too, this is a business. It's not about feelings. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's about what's on black and white and where it's supposed to come in, where this drop at, and how where we supposed to be at, at what time. You know what I'm saying? It's all a schedule. So it's like your privacy is not there no more. So it's like whatever you do, it's going to have to be when you free up. It's not going to be on daytime. So they got to really just learn that. So basically just keeping that level, just like friends, family, and business, you just really got to separate it because, you, you know, like the person who carried the bag is not going to be in the exact me with L.A. Reed while you yep. in there. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So it's just like you got to treat people for what they worth. Like if you're going to carry the bag, this is what you're going to do. Carry the bag. This is what you're going to get paid to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to work the Internet, you're going to work the Internet. So don't be telling me how he carrying the bag wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't your feel. Exactly. Your feel is what's wrong with this internet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to give people a position and tell them to stick to their position and master their position. Mm -hmm. Other stuff don't shouldn't matter because it ain't your. I mean, it sounds to me like you're a slick businessman as well as a rapper at the same damn time, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Most how definitely. is that trying to juggle both of those things, though? Because, I mean, it's real. You know, a lot of folks, they rather just focus on the creative part of the game versus the business and the marketing See, side. that's why you have people, like, as a team. You can't yeah. do everything by yourself. Like, you got to trust the people on your team. Like I said, when you put them in position yeah. to be able to execute their position. So, won't nothing be wrong because mm -hmm. your trust is in their hands. Right. So your creative process is more loose mm -hmm. now that you got people working for you and they happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it what field they pick. Yeah. So now it's like I ain't got to call you to see check up on. I, I should have to babysit exactly. you exactly because you doing what you doing and he doing what he doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's how we keep everything together because it, it's a point in time where you just have a conference call and just say what well, this going on, this going on. We got group chats. Yeah. To make stuff better, so you can't say you ain't see it. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got a phone, everybody know me now. Yeah. So if we tweet, if we text some, everybody get it. Exactly. If we say meet here at a certain time, everybody get it. Mm -hmm. So it's like we ain't got to baby you. Everybody, everybody grown. Yeah. yeah. Now as an artist, where do you see yourself and your career going? And what is it that you want to bring to this Atlanta game different from everybody else out here right now? Really, really. What I'm bringing to the game is me. Yeah. Just giving them the outlook on my life, where I came from, and being a mega star mm -hmm. within not having any boundaries on music because I don't have any boundaries on music. I can do everything, yeah. rap, sing, write, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, just put music together well. That's what I do. Exactly. But me bringing what I'm bringing to the game is just the the biggest things and biggest smalls really you know that's what I'm right a big nigga with swag that's who, right who got his way with the latest that's right and and still can spit and talk that talk yeah yeah all in one time what artists inspire you man uh like I said Wayne Jeezy Tip anybody that I really seen just yeah. over the time yeah. like that didn't know how to do certain stuff but got better at it and yeah. mastered it. You know what I'm saying? Because you listen to old Lil Wayne and you listen to new Lil Wayne, you be like, boy, he went back to school. Exactly. He read. He learned some new words. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, Because yeah. he had to go through a phase. You know what I'm saying? Everything got to change because you got to reinvent yourself mm -hmm. when the old self really died out. You know what I'm saying? You got to come back out with a new wave. Already. So I just pay attention to people who can leave the scene and come back mm -hmm. and still have stuff under control. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's who I want to be like. Now, before we get out of here, though, I got to hit that Flex Guard video one more time, man, because, I mean, that thing was cold-blooded. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. brought out the toys and that thing, though. I yeah. mean, don't tell me you be cutting the fool on them things, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's how we doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Never not Flex. Mm -hmm. this, this the motto. Already. You know what I'm saying? Like, Flex Guard, that's me. Young Pop Lord, I'm Pop. What was it like shooting that thing, though, man? Because, I mean, when I saw that video, I said, this thing is a slick Hype Williams thing going on. Yeah, yeah, that's a movie. Yeah. 
like shooting it. Actually, crazy story is shooting it the part we did on the roof. When I went up on the roof, yeah. it was like a week later. We ain't got so, time for that. So after the video shoot, uh, after about an hour, maybe we keep reshooting the video and doing the scenes of I was stuck. <laughs> they said, how you get up there? I said, that regular ladder. So, oh. But y'all need to call for a new one. Mm-hmm. So they thought I was playing. So actually, everybody from the video shoot like, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I said, I'm a player and I ain't trying to die. Exactly. You know, I'm trying to see the video like y'all. That's you know right. Or uh, get the fire truck <laughs> out here for a player. <laughs> I got to come down the play away. Hell yeah. <laughs> so they got the fire truck out there. You should have seen them. Everybody was like, oh, he did it. He did it. <laughs> like like some real movie. What are some other wild things you done seen going out here performing your music and getting busy out here, man? Uh, wild things. You know, you know, people do crazy stuff when yeah. they be up under the influence. You know, what I mean? you know, you know, grabbing your jock, all that, <laughs> pouring liquor all on themselves, trying to post shots. And yeah, people falling out, people getting punched out. It's just it's just a lot you're gonna see on the road, period. Like yeah. it's just you never know because you don't know no where nobody mind state be at. Exactly. So you really just basically gotta be on point wherever you move. You move like the mall, really, cause you got to move right. Exactly. They see any loopholes, they taking a the chance. Oh, they coming on in there. Cause but if everything's secure and they see you moving right and they saying you ain't bull, you ain't you ain't playing. Yeah. Hey man, it's another story. Like any access denied. You know what I'm saying? It'd be yeah. a whole switch of like, oh, nah, we, but them boy, okay. <laughs> we see how they move. We ain't trying to deal with we that. We cool with them. <laughs> we cool <laughs> with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to deal with this, this, you know, the consequences that come with certain stuff. Already. What's next for you, though, Yaki? Oh, uh, next. Man, you know, I'm finna drop a mixtape in March called The Life of Yacht Stick. Okay. Um, Secretly hosted by Wet Name and Wet Name. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, really trying to drop the heat to take over the summer. Like I seen Drake put out a tweet say, you know, summer sixteen, man. Oh man. Well, it might be his on the major, but you know what I'm saying. But as far as me having the streets on lock, mm-hmm. I can, 2016, my year. Yeah, really? everything messed up. Any, and, anything. And see, I know you say you're a player too, man. I mean, that was apparent on that trio love, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Break yeah. that down oh, to me, though, player. Man, trio love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying if you need some, I let me <laughs> <laughs> hit my line one eight hundred wet name. <laughs> Other than that, saying your boyfriend probably ain't getting it to you, but you know he might be. You know yeah. What I'm You'll know it. Just listen to the song. Listen to the words. See if he's doing everything right. Already. Yaki. My dog. Yeah, well, I'm not. Appreciate you coming through this thing, boy. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. I appreciate it. Be high radio shouted. Yaki DiBiase. It's Hot 107.9, man. Let go.